Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about how you can train your waist to get that perfect kind of hourglass shape, as well as share my first impressions on my very first waist training corset. So honestly, I hadn't heard about waist training corsets till about three months ago or so. I mean, I knew like in the olden days as a kid, you learned, oh yeah, the women used to wear like really tight corsets, but kind of in the modern world, I hadn't really heard about it. Um, and then someone had commented on one of my getting in shape videos on my Christy TV channel, um, just saying that she was thinking about doing it, did I know anything about it, and yeah, if I had any thoughts. And I, honestly, I said, well, I, I don't know anything about it. So that got me kind of looking into it and seeing, well, what is it? What, you're training your waist? Um, so I looked into it a little bit, but then I didn't really, you know, go and invest in a waist training corset, but I was like, you know, that's actually not a bad idea. Um, and I think I had written back to her, oh, you know, let me know if you do get one, let me know how you like it and if you see any results and stuff. And then recently I got the opportunity to try one from Alt Noir corsets and just kind of dog document my journey. So this is going to be video one of three. Um, first off, I'm just going to be talking about waist training and then kind of my initial thoughts on my corset that I haven't tried on yet, but I just took it out of the package. Um, and then in about a week to a week and a half's time, I will do another video just sharing how my first week was. And then in, you know, a month, two, three months, uh, hopefully I will be wearing it you know, often, as often as I can, and then I will come back and say if there were any results, you know, if I did see that it worked, and even without it, has my waistline changed? Uh, so that's the goal. I don't know if it can happen. I've read a lot of things about it, that it it will help, um, but yeah, I just wanted to experience it and try it on my own and share with you guys my opinions. So right off the bat, when you wear a corset, it kind of it'll give your body that nice hourglass shape, uh, as well as smoothing out all those kind of fatty lumps and bumps that I have, um, or that people in general will have, unless you're already really skinny. Um, but with me, you know, I don't have the perfect body shape. I'm working on it. I'm, you know eating healthy and working out, trying to make myself happy with how I look. Um, but you know, anything to help speed up that process or just kind of help train my body to go where I want it to go is always a plus. Um, and then also it helps your posture um, when you have it on. And again, just with wearing it regularly, even when you don't have it on, then in the future you'll still just you know, sit nice and straight or stand nice and straight just because your body is used to being like that. So waist training is when you wear a special corset, usually it is like steel boned instead of just like plastic which is more bendy um, or no bones in it. Um, and then you wear it as close to 24 seven as you can. There are different ones. Um, obviously taking it off when you shower or bathe or if you work out. Um, now for me, because I'm not used to it, I'm gonna work my way up. I'm gonna probably wear it for maybe six to eight hours at first, see how it is, and then hopefully work my way up to 22 hours or so, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, it feels pretty heavy, so we'll have to see. So to choose the right waist training corset, you want to make sure that it is about four to five inches smaller than your regular waist. So on altnoir.com, they have a size conversion chart. So um, you put in your, or you just look up your waist measurement, and then it tells you exactly what size you are. So when you first put it on, it's good to get used to it. From everything that I've read, they say to put it on tighten it so it feels you know you, you notice that you have something on but that it's still nice and comfortable and then after one or two hours they say then you can tighten it a little bit more once you kind of are initially used to it and then again you know a couple hours later you can tighten it a little bit more first off to help mold your uh, corset just to your body because it just comes all and I've read that when you sleep you should loosen it a little bit and also if you're gonna be having like a big meal you don't want to make yourself uncomfortable that's not the goal of this um, it's just you want to help shape your kind of fat and you know your internal organs to some extent obviously not how ridiculous they did it in the olden days but for me I don't think I'm gonna be tightening it anywhere near enough to actually 
do anything internally. Um, and the thing with these, are, yeah, they're not supposed to be. It's just kind of helping your waist and your fat um, just get redistributed to be where it should be. Um, and so I pack a lot of my fat on my waist and hips, uh, actually everywhere. But yeah, so I thought it would be cool to see if it will actually work to kind of help get my waist a little bit smaller and kind of it'll cover my hips as well to see if that will help. So obviously this isn't a fast solution to get yourself skinny. It's, I mean, essentially it's not going to get yourself skinny. Uh, when you wear it, obviously it's going to give the illusion that you look slimmer. Um, but if even with the training your waist, training your body, it's only going to work if you are eating healthy and you are working out. So on the Alt Noir site, they have like 50 plus waist training corsets that you can choose from. I chose this white one, which is called the Aaron Brocade waist training corset. Um, and yeah, there are lots of different colors that you can choose from. You can have pretty designs, um, but I wanted one that I can wear under my clothes that isn't going to be noticeable. So if I wear a light colored shirt, you're not going to see it. Um, but yeah, they have some really pretty ones with like, I don't know, and when I was looking at it, it was like purple with like silver swirly details and stuff. Um, but yeah, I wanted one that's going to be the least noticeable that I have it on. Um, and they also have corsets that you can actually wear, like that are tops. Um, but yeah, not this one. And then another thing was I wanted to have it under the bust. They have ones that will actually go over and cover it. But again, if I'm wearing, you know, some sort of shirt, I don't, you know, want to have my corset peeping out of the top or something. Not that I wear that many low cut shirts, but still, I just wanted to have something that basically just covers my midriff because that is my most problematic area. So this one was $54 and it came within about three days of ordering it. Um, and I'm in Canada. Uh, so you have this lace part that goes at the back and then this will cover it because obviously I'm not going to be able to do it up this tight. Um, maybe in the future, but for now, I mean, I won't be. Uh, so when you get it, don't be alarmed if you, yeah, it's way too tight. You have to loosen up this. And then just for shipping, they put elastic over this. Um, but this is what you do. You open to clasp it up and this goes in the front and then you're going to tighten up the back. So I'm going to put it on and show you what it looks like. Now I'll show you first what I look like without it and then I'm going to put it on just over my top just so you can see so I'm not not wearing a top. Um, but obviously you would wear it underneath your clothes. Uh, so then I'm also going to show it underneath just what my body looks like before with all my lumps and bumps and muffin top and then what it looks like after once it's nice and smooth and then also sharing kind of my initial thoughts of putting it on and everything. So first up, I'm just going to loosen all of this up. They give you a lot of excess string. Um, so yeah, you're, you're gonna have to loosen it a lot. So just loosening, loosening, and it ties in the middle and you pull it tight in the middle. So on both sides, you're gonna want to loosen it up. All right, so now that it's super loose, Actually, I hope this mine doesn't have to be this loose um, because this flap should actually cover. Um, but now I'm going to try it on. So this is how I look without it. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of a muffin top going on here. These shorts are a little bit tight. Usually I wear a loose fitting top to hide it. Um, and then from the side, yeah, it's kind of here. Lots of little pooches all over. So I'm going to make sure this flap is covering. So now I'm going to click in the front. Oh, and actually these are fairly easy to click. Oh, that was super easy. All right, and so as you can see, this is the right way. It kind of dips under where my boobs are. Otherwise, it would just be all straight across. Uh, so kind of this should be nicely in the center. And then we're going to move to the back. And I'm going to try to find those end pieces. And we're just going to start pulling. Oh, all right, so I'm like not even, didn't even pull that hard and already I can definitely feel it's pretty rigid. Now I do have to tighten the top because I still have a bit of slack here. Um, oh, just keep pulling. Now let's see how it is like here. So yeah, this has to tighten up. I was hoping just by tightening this, it would completely tie up or tighten up like uniformly, but I don't think so. 
So I'm going to start just tightening this up on my own. Now if I had a mirror looking into it, it would probably be a little bit easier, but that's okay. Um, and then just still, there we go, tighten this up again. So now this is a bit tighter. And then same with the bottom as well. Alright, so keep going now. Obviously there's still a lot of distance. Um, I think as I wear it, get used to it, and yeah, get skinnier, or get yeah, used to it, then I will um, be able to completely close it up. Um, so, actually I'm just going to go and look in the mirror and see if I can fix it a little bit as long as it's still comfortable. Alright, so I'm back in and it still isn't completely closed, but it's closer. And I still have really long strings, so I'm just going to tie these um, in the front. Now my hopes is that when I tie, I'm able to tie it tighter, I'll just turn it like this and then I'll still be able to tie it in the back. But, not there yet. Um, or then if you have something where you're nice and streamlined on the front and you don't want to have the bow up here, obviously you can just, you know, tie it right back here. Just like this. Uh, and then you can even go tie this again if you want. Or then just try to tuck it in. So, now this is what it looks like now that it's on. Definitely a nice slimmer waist. And this isn't even as tight as I could go. I mean, I could go a lot more. Now let's try with sitting. Um, it's not the most comfortable. Um, it just makes you, yeah, go super upright. This is what it looks like here, but I can completely sit um, like this. It's not like preventing anything. And honestly, I think it kind of lifts up your boobs a little bit as well. You can kind of see those are nice and lifted too. So now I'm going to take it off and put it back on underneath my shirt and then I'll kind of show you what it looks like and actually do a before after shot so you can actually see the difference. Okay, so now that it's under my shirt, you can't see that I'm wearing anything. I mean, these lumps and bumps, that's just um, from my shorts. They're, yeah. Um, but look how nice and smooth it is. And then from the side also, and I mean the back, just like this, now that's all tied up. And I again have it on top of my shorts, but I just wanted to show you kind of so you can see what it looks like. That's why I didn't put my shorts on over top. So now I have it under my shorts and what used to be too tight and gave me a muffin top. Now like, yeah, there's room to spare in my shorts. <laughs> so that's kind of cool, even just not pulling it. Like, yeah. So now that I have it on and no one technically knows I'm wearing it, um, you can kind of see the boning if you were to wear like a really, really tight shirt, um, but from a distance or if it's a little bit um, thicker, you don't really notice. And even now, I mean, yeah, you don't really. I mean, you can kind of see here, or if I'd like wear this skin tight, you can see this one, but it's still pretty tight and it definitely makes my boobs bigger and um, more higher, not that that's an issue, um, but you know, it's it's always nice. And even when I'm like sitting, I still have that, oh my gosh, like I never have an hourglass shape when I sit, it's just like blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, um, and yeah, no, it's actually, it's actually kind of comfortable because here I can feel like I'm slouching, but I'm actually like super straight, but I'm just kind of like, ah. Oh. But then if you look at me, I'm like, ah. Uh, um, it is a bit warm, um, especially now we're in the summer and I mean, if I were to wear this as close to 24-7 as I could, I would definitely need like three or four even, um, just because I don't want to do laundry every single day. And already when kind of putting it on, like just tightening it up, my back was getting like a tiny bit sweaty because I don't know, I just sweat really easily. Um, so even now, I mean, I'll have to, you know, wash it regularly, obviously, like you would anything. Um, so again, wearing it kind of eight hours a day, I'm gonna do that to start, just making sure that I can clean it, you know, wash it in between. Um, so I definitely say if you are gonna be wearing it 24 seven, then at least get two, preferably three. Um, but overall, I mean, it's, it is fairly comfortable um, and I'm pretty amazed on the shape that it gives me, whether I'm 
well, standing up definitely, but even sitting down. So I'm going to keep wearing this and wear it as much as I can over the next week. And then I will see you guys in about a week or, you know, a week and a half or so and show you or tell you kind of my impressions, how it feels to wear it often and yeah, any thoughts. And obviously I don't expect to see any results in a week's time, but yeah, I'll just tell you kind of my opinion and how often I was able to wear it and how comfortable it was or not. I think I'd be able to sleep in it comfortably. Yeah. Yeah, actually. I mean, it's it's not uncomfortable. This one has four steel boning and then 20 flap spiral boning. Not quite sure what that means, but I mean, it's you can feel it like every, like every this far apart, two inches or so, there's a bone that goes down and then it's also kind of along the side as well. Um, but yeah, so I'll check in with you guys in about a week and a half's time and tell you what I think of it and how often I was able to wear it and just my thoughts. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!